Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Great job! Thanksgiving is a holiday that's celebrated by many families in the United States and it's where we remember all the things that we're thankful for. Usually we're able to travel and be together with our families or our friends for Thanksgiving, but this year we had to think of new ways to be together and show our thankfulness. For example, we can't be together in the story time room right now, so we're together this way through a video and I'm so thankful that we're able to do that. I would like to share with you a poem about Thanksgiving. This was written by Joseph Bruchak, who is an indigenous writer and storyteller. And it was published in a book called Thank You, edited by Miranda Paul. Giving thanks. Thanksgiving is more than just one day. So a Mohawk elder said to me, though it is good that we remember this time with feasting each November, we need to give thanks every dawn for the gifts of life for each breath drawn, for everything that keeps us living, we speak our words of true thanksgiving. Another big part of Thanksgiving is sharing your family's favorite foods. Lots of families have foods that they love to eat together, that makes them feel special, and that they make every year and we are gonna sing a song about some of those foods. It'll be to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell. So our first verse is about sweet potato pie, which looks like this. We'll sing sweet potatoes in the pot, mash them up, mash them up, sweet potato pie. Sweet potatoes in the pot, sweet potatoes in the pot, Mash them up and mash them up, sweet potato pie. Now we'll sing about naan, which is cooked on a tawa. Naan looks like this. We'll sing naan on the tawa, turn it round, turn it round, naan on the tawa. Naan on the tawa, naan on the tawa, turn it round and turn about tempura. Tempura looks like this. Mm. We'll sing tempura in the pan, flip it over, flip it over. Tempura in the pan, tempura in the pan, flip it over, flip it over, tempura in the pan. Now we'll sing tamales in the steamer. Wrap them up and wrap them up, tamales in the steamer. Tamales in the steamer, tamales in the steamer. Wrap them up and wrap them up, tamales in the steamer. Now we'll sing about a rose in the olla. We'll sing a rose in the olla. Bubble, 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 bubble. Here we go. A rose in the oya, a rose in the oya. Bubble, 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 a rose in the oya. Last, we'll sing about crepes. We'll sing crepe on the poil, swirl it round, swirl it round. Crepe on the poil. everyone. What is your family's favorite food? What do you love to eat together? Something that I'm especially thankful for this time of year is how beautiful the trees look. So I'm going to read you a poem by Janae Brownwood that's called Falling Leaves. 
I loved the leaves that dropped from the trees and danced in the breeze in autumn, the vibrant reds that fell on my head, or the lawn where I tread and trod on them, and all around shades of yellow and brown flip flew to the ground and I caught them. A special thank you to the trees that grew, to the wind that blew, to my hands that threw, and my heart that knew them in autumn. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? We are going to read a book called Grandma's Tiny House. And this book is by the same author who wrote the poem that we just read, Janae Brown Wood. This book is so special to me because it reminds me of how wonderful it's gonna be when our families and friends can all be together again. Grandma's Tiny House, a counting story by Janae Brown Wood and illustrated by Priscilla Burris. I love these end papers. It's all kinds of family pictures. Tiny in size at the edge of Brown Street sits Grandma's old house where we all go to meet. Grandma's house stays small as the family grows. Will everyone fit inside this time? Who knows? One grandma waits in her big easy chair while two turkeys send scrumptious smells through the air. Three neighbors knock on the brown wooden door with four pots of hot greens and ham hocks galore. Five family friends strut straight up the stairs with six dozen biscuits and jam made of pears. Seven cool uncles stroll up in a line with eight jugs of lemonade, ice cold and fine. Nine chatting aunties all head for the den and set down the cheesecakes that add up to 10. 11 nephews join slapping high fives and fumbling 12 sweet potato pies. 13 thrilled nieces burst in on the scene with 14 fresh honeydew, juicy and green. And who is that running? Last but not least, 15 hungry grandkids stampede to the feast. That's when the walls bulge. There is no more space. How will we all eat in this too tiny place? I know. We've stuffed this old house, but the yard's long and wide. Why don't we move our big dinner outside? So out skip the neighbors, nephews and nieces, while uncles and aunts lug dinnerware pieces. Friends grab the tables, grandkids grab the chairs, the rest bring the food down grandma's back stairs. Perfect in size at the edge of Brown Street sits grandma's backyard where we all go to eat. The end. Great listening, everyone. 
Thank you so much for joining me for this special Storytime Thanksgiving. Our hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Then we roll our hands together and say goodbye. Happy Thanksgiving.